How's it going, everybody? Um, in this video, we're going to showcase to you guys how to do limit cut for LPDU strats um, for T. Uh, this is pretty much used um, in LPDU and some other DCs as well, like Ether. Uh, they use the 1, 2, 5, 6, 3, 4, 7, 8. Before I overwhelm you here, we're going to talk step by step what this actually means. Each player in the party is going to get a number, but essentially what's going to happen is... Let's talk right in the beginning of the mechanic, right? So you just started the mechanic, you just killed him. Here's the first thing you do. You look at North, A marker, okay? To align yourself in such a way that you're able to know immediately where to go. Because B marker right here towards Northeast and West side, as you can see here, it's a little bit off the screen, but West side is the D marker. So you have from West to Northeast, imagine you're Splitting the map in half that way and when an AOE lands in any range from west to northeast Anywhere here. It's the indicator of where you have to run Okay, so I'm gonna use this example here where I get one. Okay, so I I go out of the group a little bit I see that I have one so like we said before one two five six are the people that will go from west to northeast so here the AOEs begin exploding. So it exploded northeast, right? They always explode cardinal into cardinal, cardinal into cardinal, and then middle, and then cardinal into cardinal. It always ends up in a cardinal into cardinal when they go around. Okay, so in this example here, and remember they always go clockwise. So you can run clockwise immediately from here. Okay, so we have a southwest explosion and a northeast explosion. The people that aren't one, two, five, six will go southwest side, okay? Because it is not within the range of west to northeast, okay? So these numbers are the following, all right? That's three, four, seven, eight. But keep in mind, it's never always going to be northeast, southwest. It can be anywhere. Uh, it can be north, south. It can be northwest, southeast. The important thing is they're always mirroring each other. So if it's northeast, it's always southwest. It's opposite of it. If it's northwest, the air we will explode southeast. It's opposite side. Okay? And they will go around clockwise. Okay, so here I have one. Because I'm one, I am the odd number. It will light up blue. Blue means, right, odd number. Red means even number. If you are blue, you are the one going forward first. And you need to know your stopping points, which I will explain here. Okay? There are certain... Uh, stopping points that you can use on the floor markings, which I will uh, further explain when I run the clip. Okay, so I'm running to the first AB explosion that just happened on northeast, and you see this black line here. I am on the middle. Uh, I am on the left side of that this black line, and each black line is in every cardinal into cardinal on this arena. Meaning you can align yourself if an explosion happens in the middle here you're gonna be on the left side of it here on the other down half. Here's an AOE right here, for example. You see this black line here? You're gonna be behind this black line, basically center of the AOE. This is the farthest in you can go to leave room for the person behind you to not get hit by the other group's AOE in the back because if you stop at a weird point, the pe person behind you can die to the AOE behind them because they're all rotating clockwise, okay? So in this example here, you would see, I stop here. I wait, let the AOE explode again. It exploded, I walk in, and now I finished my one, okay? I did my job here. So that's your job as add number. Now the one thing you need to remember, the one important thing about limit cut is you need to either count the AOEs or we'll use whatever reference you want. I personally count them. So it goes four AOEs, right? And then middle explodes and then another four AOEs. Okay, so you count one, two, three. If you're one, you will stop here at the third AOE. And then see, the fourth exploded right in front of me there. So you would stop at three, that's when limit cut 
starts happening. So if you're one, this is the first thing you do. So three, and then C. It exploded in the middle after four. After you finish one, I go to the side here. This is the, we call the inactive number. If you're an inactive number, it means you're on the side. The active numbers are one, two, three, and four, because they're the ones that have to be on this light arena. You see this arena side here that have lights on the floor? You're gonna be on this side. This is where you basically sp want to spawn Cruise Chaser. He spawns on you based on your number. You, have, you wanna be here. This side should be safe, okay? So I'm gonna keep running the clip here. Now another four explosions are gonna happen. They're gonna stop at the second AOE. Okay, so it goes one, two, they're gonna stop there because Cruise Chaser spawns here. Now remember, this is for the one, two, five, six group, okay? AOE happens. When this cone AOE happens, immediately start walking in. You don't want to even want it for a second stop because if you stop there too long, you're gonna get hit um, by the dash back. Um, because what he will do is he will do a cone and then he's gonna dash back to the person behind Okay, since we're talking about odd numbers here. I'm not gonna overwhelm you too much right now Okay, odd numbers are the ones forward. Okay, even numbers are the one behind so for example This person here is five the person behind them is six, right? So it goes five six si The six is a rectangle AOE. It's pretty damn wide so that's why I say you, you want to run quickly forward. See, after this cone happens, I immediately start walking forward. I'm already forward. So remember, this part's important. When you're on the side, you want to quickly move here, and then it's going to dash back. And then there's going to be AoEs happening again, the, the series of four AoEs. So that was two, and that was three, okay, uh, four, and then the middle explodes. And here's obviously seven and eight happening on the other side. And then you just go to the middle here and pretty much resolve the mechanic that way. So once again, recap, if you uh, finish this uh, living liquid, step out, look at your number, face true north of the map, AKA a marker, see what number you have. If you are an odd number, okay? If you are an odd number, you are moving forward. If you are a high odd number, you will be on the edge of the arena. If you are a low odd number, such as one and three, those are lower numbers, you will be immediately in the light arena, okay? So I'm moving here, so one, two, three, stopping at the black line AOEs, and boom. And that's how you resolve odd number group one, okay? Now here's a few pictures to kind of get a feel of what I'm talking about. So you can see here, the area highlighted on the map is the safe zone after an AOE explodes. So this is the safe zone right here. This is, will be your stopping point. Stop at each black line. Use this as the rule of thumb. This is your stopping point. And this is the maximum forward you can be. If you go any more forward, you could die. So remember this. And here's another picture of it to just showcase it a little bit better and highlight it. See here, this black line. These black lines are in every cardinal into cardinal. You wanna use that as your stopping point. And that's essentially what you wanna do here. It's in the center of the AOE. And here, another picture is if you're a high number, this is how you wanna move in with the cone like we discussed. So the cone happens, you move in immediately after that. Okay, now I'm gonna be showcasing an even number for the one, two, five, six group. So if you are number two here in my case, okay, I look at true north, now it's west and east. Like we said, one, two, five, six, go from west to northeast. Not sharp east, because the sharp east one would be the other group. Okay, we use it only up to northeast. So keep this in mind, right? Whenever west and east explode, remember, one, two, five, six would be west. East group is the other group. Okay, so we go west here, we count the AOE. So one AOE, watch how I'm playing around the black line. Second AOE, third AOE, stop. Like we said every first three AOEs, Cruise Chaser shows up. One gets hit. Dash back, and then you're gonna move to the side. Use this as your reserve, like you're done here. If you move here, it means you've finished. Now these guys, these two swap over, okay? And then they're gonna count two AOEs, and then it happens. Obviously there was a little bit of a mistake here, uh, because someone got hit. But the showcase, it's just to showcase the example, right? See, one, one AOE happened here, and then another one happened here. So for group one, it's Three AOEs, stop. Then, two AOEs, stop. 
okay? So you can count those. Um, so TLDR, one and two will stop after three AOEs. Five and six will stop after two AOEs happen. Dot point there, there's the cone, and then it dashes back. And that's how you resolve that mechanic. The rest, the rest is pretty simple. You just wait for the middle AOE to explode at that point, and then you just walk in because it's safe because seven and eight are finishing up here. Okay, now I'm gonna be talking about the other group POV. Um, because they don't count three AOEs and then they stop. So this is group, uh, the second group that have three, four, seven, eight. So in this example, I am odd number three. Okay. What's an east explode? So I will go east and I use, see, I'm already moving on this black line to the side of the AOE um, where it's safe. See, if I was standing in the front black line here, I could get hit by this. So I stand, this is your safe line and the furthest you can in you that you can go. So three, okay. I am number three. I count four AOEs and then I stop. So you actually stop further than group one because group one is already doing their thing. So count one, two AOE, three AOEs, four AOEs, arm's length. And you're gonna stop here. You stop here for a little bit because the middle explodes and then just stay there. And that's how you resolve number three. And then three, uh, four AOEs are gonna happen again. So you got one, two, three, four. It was a bit of a mess up here, but it basically uh, the other people, the seven and eight will stop at the other fourth AOE, or they can just point it outside the map since it's the last two numbers. It's up to you completely, but essentially that's how you do it. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you now POV number four. So here I look shop north, I have number four. Okay, northwest, southeast explode. Okay, so here, because I'm number four, right, I will go southeast. So this, remember, this is the group that's three, four, seven, eight. They never, never go uh, anywhere near northeast up to west. This is the range. Okay, so I'm going here already. And because I'm even number, I stay behind the odd number. Okay, so I let three go forward. We count four AOEs on this group. So three, four, Stop. That's it. The AOEs happen. And then you count another four AOEs. One, two, three, and then four. Machinists are gonna stop at the fourth AOE where it exploded. And that's it. It is that simple. One thing you can do here, by the way, if you're on that last group and seven AOE is happening, um, it's literally like this. Where cruise chaser showed up and you're far away that you can get hit by the the cone you can just walk to the middle so really you can just walk to the middle after this aoe explodes and it's completely fine because that's the last thing that would happen after seven eight but i tried to be cool here and i just shikuchi over to the cone but you know don't try it if you don't want to i'm ninja so i just do ninja things <laughs> okay but you could just walk to the middle it's completely safe after the middle AOE explodes and seven or eight are doing their thing. Okay, now I'm gonna be showing it number six POV. This is the group for one, two, five, six, which is north, uh, northeast to west. So I go here northwest. And because I am even number, um, not only am I even number, but I'm high number. I'm not one, two, three, or four. I'm six. So because I'm six, I stay here. Okay? You here's what you do. Okay, you count three AOEs again. So one, second AOE, third AOE, stop. This is where it resolves. Now the healer, essentially here, he would want to move all the way here. But he was a little bit behind, but that's completely fine. So I just moved down a little bit and then just move forward. Sadly, the dancer did die. And then it's two AOEs in front of you. And then this happens. So again, okay, number six. First AOE, second AOE, third AOE, one and two resolve. Fourth AOE just happened there, by the way. Middle explodes. After middle explodes, you begin counting again from one. Okay, middle explodes, now count again. One, two, stop. So for the group one, for one, two, five, six, remember, it's three AOEs, stop. Okay? After middle explodes, count two AOEs. So here we go. Let me cut goes through. And that's it. That's how you resolve that. 
Okay, in this example, I showcase number seven. So you look at north, okay? And because I am number seven, I am three, four, seven, eight. So I go southwest, not northeast. So we count one, two, three AOEs, four AOEs, stop. It will stop on this black line. Move into the cone. One, two, three. See how I'm moving forward because I'm odd number? You want to be forward, as forward as you can. And I stop right here. This is seven and eight. And that's it. Sadly, the eight uh, was all messed up. People died, so it happens. But the idea remains the same, okay? The, the, the idea, the movement is exactly the same. And finally here we have number eight, which is your last one. So same thing, you look at A marker to north, northwest and southeast exploded. So I'm going southeast using the black line here. One A we exploded already, that's two, that's three, and that's four. And now we stop here for a bit. We chill, let it happen, go. One again, we just exploded there. That's two. See how I'm behind the odd number? This is seven, I am eight. That's three AOEs, fourth AOE, stand right behind the odd number. And that's how you resolve the mechanic. Primarily it. Pretty much as long as you remember uh, where your number goes um, and where you have to be, uh, you can pretty much do limit cut just fine. You can see here, one AOE already exploded here. This is a west and east example. So west exploded, and then northwest exploded. So that's second AOE. Third AOE, cruise chaser shows up. So here he goes. One gets hit, two dashed on. Middle explodes after four AOEs. So you can see here it counts one, two, three, four. This is the fourth AOEs right here on northeast and southwest. And then middle explodes right after. And now it's the second people's turn. Uh, for five six so you count two aoe's for five and six here after the middle explodes and then you stop right there after the two aoe's so five goes off six okay now seven and eight remember seven and eight are stopping at the fourth aoe after the middle explodes so use the middle explosion as the indicator okay so middle explodes right one two three fourth aoe seven and eight are coming up See? There you go. They just stop there. And it's resolved. And then you can just head to the middle. So it's pretty much the simplest way that I could explain limit cut while showing pretty much the number of POVs, as well as the movement, as well as using the floor pattern. Um, I will be posting the toolbox in the description below. Um, use this uh, for LPVU PFing on light data center or even on NADC. They pretty much, it's the one three, uh, sorry, it's the one two five six strat. They call it one, two, five, six, three, four, seven, eight. Basically, you're separating those two groups. And that's primarily it. Um, hopefully, this video helped out. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know, know down below. And catch y'all in PF. Peace out. Love you guys.